Well, we have another week beginning this morning, and I want to turn your attention to Psalm 103. Psalm 103, and I think that if you will consider what I have to say this morning, you will start your week off strong and maybe even set it to be one of the best weeks in a long time. And so what we're really going to talk about is that we need to remember the blessings of the Lord that we have already received and allow them to bring joy to me, to you, to those around us. And so I want to encourage you with these, uh, just a few verses, one through five, and then we'll skip to eight just for the sake of time. And it says, uh, verse number one says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. I think we forget the benefits that come with salvation. And we need to be reminded that we are given a clean slate before the Lord. We are given eternal life with him in heaven and and uh, we have been given opportunity to set things right in our lives. And so we can't forget those benefits. Uh, verse number three says, Who forgiveth all thy iniquities and healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? I mean, let's just be real here. We need to remember that even though if things aren't going the way we want them to, God loves us and God has a plan for us and God is walking with us and he's being merciful. There's just so many things happening all at once that we need to be reminded of. I think we can get bogged down in what's not happening and forget all that we have. And, and so I want to encourage you as you start this week, remember that these, these benefits that are in you and, and on you all the time because the Lord loves you and the Lord is your Savior and, and uh, he has changed the trajectory of your entire life. And so it doesn't have to be the way it was. It can be, it can be newer and better all the time. And verse number five says, Who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. And so we can have a renewed vitality and joy in life if we will just simply remember what God has done. He has taken such good care of us. Verse number eight, it says, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. Now that's not for everyone. That's for those who walk with him. He is ready to give mercy. He is plenteous in, in loving kindness and, and, and to give us all these different things uh, that make our lives so good. And so uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't say here that he takes away all the realities of life where there's pain and suffering, there's heartache and loss. But we are reminded to think about the things that he has given to us that cannot be taken away. His mercy, his loving kindness. He walks with us through the struggles. And so I want you to start your week off remembering exactly who you are in Jesus and what you have in him so that you won't have reason to focus on just the negative. Of course, you've got to deal with that part of life, but we can deal with it from the perspective of having so much already in us and already given to us from the Lord that we don't have to focus in on what he hasn't yet provided. And so I want to encourage you, let the things that you already have in the Lord in your relationship with him be the thing that guides you through this week. And I know that if you'll do that, Monday will be a lot better. Everybody's posting things about, oh no, Monday's back. You know, but, but the truth is that Monday is just another day to praise the Lord for the things that he's done. And so I want to encourage you, have another day to praise the Lord for all the great things he's done. And you'd be surprised how fast even Monday can go. Have a great day.